When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings hired brand new defensive coordinator Brian Flores, it was implied in his initial press conference that there could be some changes coming to the defensive staff. And it makes sense. Brian Flores is the de facto head coach of the defense. He has worked uh, with any of these defensive coaches that are on uh, the current staff, formerly uh, under Ed Donatel before. And some changes probably going to be made, you know, bringing in his own guys. And the first change is is already being made as inside linebackers coach Greg Minuski. He gone. Jeremy Fowler, ESPN. Vikings and linebacker coach uh, Greg Minuski are parting ways per source. Minnesota making its transition to D.C. Brian Flores. Minuski, a longtime NFL coordinator, should have options. And Minuski, I'm sure he would. Just for whatever reason, didn't work out. Uh, he's been a defense coordinator as stops with the Niners, the Chargers, the Colts, uh, the Washington football team, and all that stuff. Uh, plus, was a great special teams linebacker for the Vikings. Park in the day. Nah, that's right. But uh, like like we said, for whatever reason, it just didn't click. And it was part of the 31st ranked defense. It was partly Donatel. And it, it's a whole thing of chicken or the egg. Like, who do you blame? Do you blame the coaching? Do you blame the players? Do you blame both? I, I think it was a little bit of both. But uh, since the Vikings split up linebacker duties, uh, because Mike Smith, I said duty, uh, Mike Smith was uh, handling the outside linebackers in the new 3-4, uh, and Manuski was handling the off-ball inside linebackers, the two uh, primary inside linebackers, Kendricks and Hicks. They didn't have good years, man. I mean, Eric Hendricks, who we know and love, we've seen him play at an elite all-pro level, but this year... Wasn't it a uh, 45 PFF coverage grade, which is his worst since uh, being a rookie in 2015, 107.2 quarterback rating with thrown at 16 missed tackles. And yeah, Kendricks was learning a new position. And a lot of that was on Minuski to uh, teach him that new spot, because there is a difference between a four, three middle linebacker and a three, four inside linebacker. But yeah, whether it's Kendricks learning a new scheme, whether it's Kendricks getting a little bit older, it, it wasn't there. Well, he was not vintage Kendricks because usually Kendricks is in the conversation as one of the best off-ball linebackers in the league. He didn't see that this year. And Jordan Hicks, uh, who was a, a decent free agent coming in for the Vikings, signed a two-year deal, 52.5 PFF coverage grade, worst of his career, a 119.1 quarterback rating when thrown at, not great, uh, four touchdowns allowed in coverage, and nine missed tackles. So, I mean... Uh, like I said, it could just be the entire system was a failure uh, or Minuski didn't coach these guys up properly or these guys uh, weren't capable of playing at a high level anymore, but it just was not a good time for the Vikings inside off-ball linebackers. Also, hey, Brian Asamoah didn't get the time of day. That's on Minuski as well. And the Vikings coaching staff currently... So they do have a couple openings. Uh, they lost assistant special teams coordinator Ben Cutwicka. Uh, Gerard Johnson went to the Texans. Minuski is gone. Uh, I, I, like I said, I wouldn't be shocked if uh, Flores brings in someone like Josh Boyer, his former D.C. with the Dolphins. Uh, they go all the way back to the Patriots days. Uh, but I think that this is the first of a few changes that's going to be coming on the Vikings defensive uh, coaching staff. I could easily see Durante Jones or Ryan Anderson uh, being gone. Obviously, Steve Donatel. Uh, awkward so i think that this could be you know outside of mike smith and maybe chris rump i i could see a complete tear down and rebuild uh not only on the defensive roster but also the defensive coaching staff as brian flores gets uh, more of his guys uh in and you know like i said i mean it Brian Flores might be a one and done, and these coaches might be a one and done because they may all follow him uh, to his new coaching staff when he gets another head coaching job. Don't care, don't don't care. Fix this defense, at least get it mid or you know top ten, top twelve ish. Then all of a sudden, as this offense continues to progress, guess what? This is an elite, elite football team. But uh, first change has been made. Anyways, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts. The Vikings inside linebacker Gre uh, coach Greg Minuski is gone. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.